Winston Churchill once said, Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Hello everyone and welcome to Blind Beauty. I'm Jennifer. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to continue going through my collection of makeup. Now I've already gone through quite a few of these items, you know, or quite a few categories rather. So I try to break it up, that way it's not too terribly long, each section. And I'm doing a declutter as well as, you know, mini reviews of each product. If I can review it. If not, then, you know, I'll let you know that too. But I am going to be decluttering some of these and we are going to focus on my mascaras. I mean, look at this thing. That is, that is jam-packed. And I've got, this is one of those longer uh, baskets you can get from Walmart Dollar Tree for about a dollar for three of them. And I'm going to be actually chunking some of them, passing some of them on, and of course, keeping some of them. <laughs> so, but I am sitting right here at my desk instead of at my chair behind me. Just because with something like this, that it is easier to have somewhere to set them down. So, instead of trying to set them to the side. First mascara that, eh, I'm just not a fan of at all. Probably just chunk this one. Actually, I am just going to chunk this one. This is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara. It is a little bright pink tube. What I call almost a fuchsia tube, really. And it has a little stereo looking thing on there. And this is in waterproof, I believe. Yeah, waterproof. It just doesn't do anything for my lashes. It doesn't do anything for me. It's a different type of wand with smaller, shorter bristles. But it doesn't give me the length I want. Now, I like a lot of length. I'm not as much volume anyway. I'd rather have the length than the volume. So this one, that's actually trash trash plus you're supposed to throw them away after they've been you know used for so long anyway but a lot of these i've kind of i'd open them up and then i'd move on to another one and i am working on getting better about not doing that so several of these are going to go this is the blink mascara amplified uh honestly i'm gonna put this in the one more shot actually no i'm not either I can tell just by pulling it out of the tube that it's too old. So this is going to go to, I don't really remember a whole lot about this one, um, honestly. I don't believe I was that impressed with it. If I were, then I would have used it up. And this one here is the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. I did a review on this one on my channel, so I won't give a whole lot of detail about that. But, you know, I'm, but after using it for a while, just not all that impressed with it. I'm going to give it, you know, to the trash bin over here. I do have several, though, that I haven't ever used. So, you know. Now, this here is the AOA Studio Hyper Lash. I do have the primer as well. This is a two-step process. It is like a fiber mascara. I am holding on to it because it is a pretty decent mascara, even though it can easily get into the eyes if you're not careful so that is something to be aware of but it does give pretty nice length and it adds some volume too and it's only two bucks so for both steps and then this is the Maybelline Big Shot mascara it is a rather liquidy mascara but it is a pretty decent mascara you know at one point I was like yeah no I don't like it but it's kind of growing back on me because I used to love this mascara a while back but and then thought, eh, I don't know. But I'm starting to love it again. Now this one here I'm going to pass on. It is the Tarte Tartist Mascara. Never used and all that. So I'm going to pass it on. Put it over to the side here. And this here, if y'all have seen my channel for very long, the Essence I Love Extreme Volume Mascara in Waterproof. This is a great mascara for lengthening and volumizing and all that stuff. Bright, like, bright tube. It has the pink writing on it. I can't say enough good things about this. 
If you want a full-on review on this or this compared to another mascara, let me know in the comments down below. If y'all want reviews on any of these products, let me know in the comments down below. Now this here, it is the e.l.f. I believe it's their Volumizing and Defining Mascara. It ain't worth a crap. I've used it once. Once. It ain't worth a crap. Not even worth the two or three bucks I paid for it. So it's going in the trash. I don't like to pass on mascaras if I have used them because the risk of eye infections, you know, to someone else and if I don't know how long I've had them, you know, then I'm not going to pass it on to somebody else either. And this is the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush Ma Waterproof Mascara. I love this. This is great for the lower lashes. It's great in general. That brush is teeny tiny right there so that is a great mascara for the lower lashes so I'm holding on to that sucker <laughs> can't get rid of that one now this is the Dolce D-O-U-C-C-E Dolce Max Lash Volumizer Mascara I mean it's a rather large brush I haven't had any issues with it at all you know now I have had this one for a while but I haven't used it that many times, so it's not like I've been dipping in there every single day or whatever. So I'm not tossing it yet. I'm going to hold on to it. This here is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. It's a brand new, never used mascara. I'm going to pass that one on as well. A lot of these, the ones I'm passing on so far, are the sample size. The other one that I mentioned, where'd it go? The Tarte Tardis was a sample size of the Tardis mascara. And then this one here, I'm going to toss this one too. It is the Blink Black Lash Primer. Wasn't really impressed. It didn't do a whole lot for me, really and truly. So, you know, just, yeah, I'll pass. And then this here, even though I do like color mates like blush and... Well, that's basically all I really like from their blush, their eyebrow stuff, and I believe they have dec decent lip products. But their eye products, I'm just not a fan of. Not a fan of their eyeliner, not a fan of their shadow, and I'm not a fan of the mascara. And yes, I purposely bent the brush just to try to get something better out of it. Not worth the crap. Don't spend a dollar on it. It's going in the trash. So. And then this here, I'm this is so old, I've got to get rid of it. It is the M Cosmetics Mascara, right here. Wasn't a fan of it, really and truly. I just didn't, you know, use it a whole lot. Just not a fan of it. And then I have another Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. Now, this one, I do believe I have used. Yeah, I can tell just by looking at the tube here because it has a bunch of smudges from makeup and everything but it is a bigger wand bigger bristles and everything and it does have good length and good volume all that stuff that is a smashbox x-rated mascara it is a great mascara but i wouldn't pay the price for the full tube i mean i, I just won't y'all then this is the dior show mascara i have used this one as well but I cannot honestly remember much about it. You know, it is a fuller mascara. But I am going to toss this one because, I mean, it's one of those that you pop the thing out. And I don't feel like it had a good enough seal, so I'm throwing that one away. But I'm not a real big fan of the real fat mascaras anyway. And I have used this one as well. This is the Double Decker Lashes Mascara by Butter London. And it's another thicker brush mascara. But not overly thick and it's like the spirally type mascara. I've only used this like once or twice. But the couple times I have, I loved it. So I'm holding on to that one. And then I'm throwing this crap away. I used it in a video a long time ago whenever I was doing mascara in my in one of my videos and I used it on the lower lashes and it was obvious that it smudged everywhere. It is the Wet n Wild 
um, Mega Length Mascara. It's the bright purple tube one. Now, Wet n Wild is usually a pretty good brand, but I'm not the I'm not a fan of their mascaras at all. You know, their liners are awesome. Their lipsticks are really good too. But the only thing I just can't say I like at all is the uh, mascaras. And then the last mascara <coughs> that I have right here, at least, is the Rimmel Shake It Fresh Mascara. Uh, this is the Rimmel Shake It Fresh Mascara. And this is brand new, never used, all that stuff. But I want to hold on to this one because I do actually want to use it and... Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me review this. I've already taken it out of the package and everything, but I'm pretty sure I can find online more about it. Actually, it wasn't in a package. I got this in a Target box, I believe. And then the other one that I do enjoy uh, is... Honestly, I can't tell you the brand of it. I can't see it well enough. Oh, Stila Huge. Mascara. It's in this goldy tube. I mean, it's a really good mascara, too. I like it because it gives me nice lashes and whatnot. And I do like the sample sizes, at least for my purse and things like that. So that's why I like the sample size of this. You know, and a sample size is something good to hold on to. Like if you do have BoxyCharm. Ipsy, Birch Box, Allure Beauty Box, whatever, you can always keep a sample size of a makeup product in your purse and an emergency beauty kit, whatever the case may be. So I do recommend doing that. So, but that right there, y'all, is every single one of my actual mascaras that I still have in my collection. Now I am giving away a couple of them, as I've shown you. Uh, I've got the X-rated mascara and the Tardis mascara. I'm throwing away quite a few though. Um, but, you know, I am going to pass those two on. Let me show you what this looks like now that I've kind of gotten rid of some of them. Okay, I think I said I was going to throw away the Dolce mascara. Forgot about that, y'all. <laughs> Put it in the wrong pile. But, if you like this makeup look that I have on, I did it, I tried to upload it yesterday. At least I hope I uploaded it yesterday. If not, then, eh, you know. Um, but, this right here, this makeup look is what I did yesterday's video on. So I do hope you check that out if you haven't already. And I do hope that you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. To see more makeup looks more of my makeup collection because next I'm going to be doing getting into my lip collection but this right here is what the thing looks like now I mean I got through or got rid of quite a bit y'all there's room for it to move around I can shake it shake it shake it good shake it shake it good <laughs> but I do hope that you subscribe and also join me on my social media I have Facebook page as well as Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and I also have a Facebook group called Blind Beauty Support where if you want to come and talk about all things beauty and give your input about ideas that I'm working on for the channel, come on over there and join me because I'd love to get to know you and let's chat a little bit. Thank you so much for watching and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.